Hey Rebels, how are you doing today from the Rebellion Studio in North Sandy Springs? Today checking in on the topic of let's talk about that back. A lot of times when we talk and we talk about working on the abs, sometimes the back muscles kind of tend to get ignored. But the way I think of the core is really engaging the back along with the abs to create that nice, strong, solid cylinder that protects the spine. Right, so we do want to get stronger, but we don't want to make we do want to make sure that we do not get injured, right? So let's go through an exercise that I see done in the gyms and it just gives me a headache when I see it. Let's talk about a very simple engagement. So you guys have seen the crunch where people start doing this, and sometimes it looks like they're about to get dizzy, I don't know, from the workout. Instead of doing that, let's open the chest. Take all of the tension of the neck, engage the back, and connect our back to the abs, all right? It becomes a totally different and totally powerful experience. Let's talk about that. So in Pilates, we always do this, we never do this. We do this, and then when we place the hands behind, we do not place them on the neck, we place them on the hard part of the head. That protects our necks. The neck is very, very delicate, and we never want to stress our neck. Now. When the shoulders come up, that for one could cause roundness, but for two, once again, stresses the neck. So what we want to do is one, place the hands behind two. And for some of you, this might be tight because of tightness into the chest. We are going to open, open the elbows uh, about to our sides. We don't want to go too far back. We want to go to about straight line and we want to pull the shoulder blades down and activate the back. So. This looks very different than this. This looks very different than this or even this. If you guys see when I press my hands behind, I press the head into my hands, my back is nice and white, but also very, very active. This is different than this. Then from here, you can think about connecting the back to the front. So now the ribs are pulling together, the abdominals are engaging. So what happens to our waistline, it all of a sudden becomes really nice and small. This is a very, very active position. And again, very different than this. Now if we're going to do a crunch, instead of pulling from the neck, we're going to curl up and over, engage the abs and crunch up and come down. Think of the head pressing against the head. Ready, active back and curl up. You can do it standing and come back down and curl up and come down and curl up. Yeah, you feel your back, you feel your chest opening, you feel the tension of your neck. It is your entire upper body is super, super active. Also, once again, protecting the back. You don't want to pull onto the neck. You don't want to shorten the back. You don't want to go into arches into the back, right? You want to pull the ribs in nice and active. My booty is engaged. My inner thighs are actually active right here. Or if we're lying down, let's take that down to the floor, all right? Slowly come down to the floor. Place those hands behind. Press the head against the hands. Look up towards the ceiling. Now, press the head against the hands and you're going to feel your neck muscles activate. Actively pull the shoulder blades away. Mm -hmm. Pull your ribs together, engage the abdominals, two she's down on the floor and now curl up. And come down. This is so much better, so much more protective. And I'm also not cheating. Here I'm also getting a delicious stretch into the neck, into the chest. Turn to the sides and sit up. So, food for thought. And if any of you find it really hard to open the elbows out to the side, this in itself, just pushing the head against the hands, is a fantastic exercise that you can do anytime you're sitting, especially if your work requires you to do this, to get that chest to open. All right? Hope that was helpful. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll talk to you later. Have a rebellious day. Bye.